Okay, here's the dilemma. I had a friend on Facebook say, how do I get my CD music onto my phone? I'm, I'm very frustrated. I'm not familiar with this phone. I love this phone, but I love this music and I can't get them together. So this is how we do it. I'm going to explain it on video. I'm a visual person. I can't write. I can't spell. I can't read, but I can make videos on how to put this into here. Okay, this is how you do it. You start out with any kind of CD, any kind of CD. It can be this CD. This is a CD that happens to be shiny on one side and you can see my picture there. This is my picture right there's my finger on your side and this side is happens to be the side with the writing this is the side yet is very important this is where the music is starts from the inside and writes to the outside this is called don't fight it by red rider i don't have this in my collection yet i want this song from white hot there's white hot song from don't fight it red rider white hot on my phone it's not on my phone right now so this is how i'm going to do it i'm going to take this cd and all the music and put it onto this phone. This is an iPhone 4, it doesn't matter, any phone works the same. This is a Macintosh, this is a CD, this is a phone. They will all work together to put this onto here via this, okay? The phone, okay, has this little connection on the bottom of it. This is the front of it, that's the bottom of it. I take this cable that came with it. It's called this little power cable, I think. It's just a connector cable. It goes in here like so. See the little symbol on the top here? The little thing there, that's facing up, iPhone facing up. It goes in there. It only goes in one way. Ah, oh, that's nice. There you go. Right there. It fits in there perfectly. Now, on the other end of this, if you look all the way down, all the way down to here, there's a USB right there. See, it says USB symbol on it. That's the part you plug into your computer. You plug it in with this side facing up into your computer. All right? I'll show you in just a second how to do that. This is how it goes right here. Watch. I take it out of the screen. Here it is right here. USB symbol going right in there. All right, plug it in. There you go. Oh, the phone just comes to life when it's uh, plugged in. Look at that. It buzzes on and says, uh, today is Thursday, October 6th, 8.20 a.m. Press the eject button. Looks like that. The CD tray comes out. Shiny side, down, down like so. Put it back in. Goes back in. Don't worry, this is a non destructive process. Your CD will come out in the same shape it went in. Uh, you'll be able to use it again, although you'll probably never use it again because you put it in a box and then put it in the garage. We will see the icon pop up any second over here. And uh, there it is. Uh, that's the icon. It says don't fight it. That's the title of the CD. Don't panic if you put a CD in and it says audio CD and it doesn't say anything else. This is because I've had this CD in this computer before. iTunes has seen it, identified it, and now the operating system knows what it is. So it's a, uh, it's a CD, the name of the title, the te name of the CD is Don't Fight It. So that's it. Now, I have to open up iTunes. A quick way to open up iTunes uh, in a Mac, if you don't want to look for it, just get IT up in the spotlight. IT, there it is, selects iTunes, boom. I hit enter. IT, enter, and boom, there's iTunes. Now, you'll notice over here is where the CD has shown up over here, and it's reading all my system right now and everything, and it's about to see right there. iPhone just popped up. So my iPhone is plugged in. It sees that. This will not be here if your iPhone is not plugged in. You cannot add music to your iPhone if it is not connected. There is no iPhone folder here. Okay, it's also important to note uh, that here the iPhone is is my iPhone and it, this is my computer now uh, it has to be synced up to your computer you cannot add music to your iPhone if it's not your computer uh, that you're working on uh, and when I when I say your computer I define your computer as the first computer you used to sync your phone to uh, it cannot be your friend's computer, it cannot be your husband's, your girlfriend's, it cannot be anyone else's. You cannot take music from your phone and put it on somebody else's iTunes and have them put it on their phone and vice versa. It has to be the first computer you synced with your phone. Uh, otherwise, you'll hook this phone up to another computer, try to download music. The only way to do that is to sync. You will then sync all of their contacts, all their information, erase all of yours, and you will then have their stuff synced onto your phone. So you can only add music to your phone uh, from your computer and your iTunes account. Uh, you cannot take the CD and simply go boom onto your phone. You'd think you'd be able to do that, but you can't. You can't. You think you can, Nebo, but you can't. You just can't do that. You can't put it in here into music, it doesn't work. And you can't put it down here, it doesn't work. You have to uh, import it first. 
anything else will just make the computer explode. So let's go down uh, and look at our phone. Here's our phone. Click on it. Boom, there's our phone. Let's uh, get off this so you don't see my phone number. <laughs> okay, this is what's in our phone right now. Uh, I'm syncing selected playlists, not everything. I'm including uh, voice memos, which is because I can, I do that. And these are the artists, the playlists I've come up with. These are the genres. I can click everything alternative, everything punk if I want, and not pick them out individually. I've chosen to pick out the artists and or the albums. If you look down here, I've clicked on a few albums. Uh, I'm a video producer, so you'll see a lot of sound effects and junk that you'll never need. Uh, unknown artists and stuff like that. That's not the point. Don't pay any attention to that. It doesn't matter. Uh, but this is where the music will show up once it's in here. The best way to put it in there is to click on it. Down here at the bottom, you'll see Import CD. That's how you do it. But if you look up here, you'll see all the songs on that CD before it's imported. I can select or deselect any one of these. If they are checked, that means they will go into your computer or into iTunes and be stored. If they are not checked, if I just want the one song that I bought this album for and that was white hot, then that's the one that it will put in. But I'm going to have all these in. I'm going to put them all in just because uh, I can't. That's a problem. Okay, if you click on it, it will play it. I don't want it to play it right now. So before I get into copyright problems, I will not. But yes, it will play it from here and you'll be able to preview the songs uh, to double check. Uh, what you're importing and what you're not importing. I'm going to take all of these in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and import CD or while this is selected I can go file add to library and this is like an option O here you, or I'm sorry command O you hit command O and it will put the album in the library or you come down here and click import CD. I'm going to go down here because this button is real easy. Boom import CD. Uh, import have already been imported. Do you want to replace existing songs and import them again? I would say replace them. Okay, it's not going to ask you that if it's not already here. Apparently, I've already put this in here. You won't get this dialog box. So I'm going to say replace existing. Boom. So you know what it does. This is to show you what it does. This means it's importing now up here, down here. As soon as this turns green, that song is in. You will go to your music library and you can type in Red Rider. And then here's the Red Rider. This is what's going to come into the album. Lunatic Friends. Love that song. That's coming in soon. But anyway, that's where it's going. See, this is green. Green check mark means it's in your computer and it's ready to go. But it's not on your phone yet. It is in iTunes. While this is going on, I want to show you something here quickly. You can go to Preferences. You may be wondering, where does all this music go? Where does it go? In Advanced, you'll see here iTunes media folder location. Users, Al, that's me, or AJ. You can call me AJ or Al if you like. It doesn't matter. You're not here and I won't hear you. Call me anything you like. But that's where it happens to be. Now where is that? Well, let's open up here. Let's see. I go along the side here, all this stuff. Here's Al. Boom. Click on Al. I see music. Oh, what's in music? I double click that. All my albums are here. Right there. Uh, all the albums that I have loaded and then if I go down here, there is an iTunes folder. I can hit the letter I. And here, what's this? Open that up. All these, uh, this stuff, album artwork is in here. It will search the internet and look for Red Rider and their artwork and put it in there so you can see Red Rider. This is all the media. But this is where all the stuff is going into, uh, into your music iTunes thing, like it says here. Music or users al music so we're in music all this stuff is going here these are all the songs that I have and if I open up say let's go to Red Rider where's Red Rider at hit the R Red Rider open that up what do I have two C two CDs two albums I have in here inside of Red Rider don't fight it they're all coming in now this is the one that's coming in right now and apparently I have as far as Siam Lunatic Fringe I downloaded because I happen to like that song that's the only song that I downloaded from that album, uh, but I have that one too. So that's how they're organized on your computer down here uh, under Al. So uh, look at these things here. This is kind of cool. If for some reason, while we're waiting for this last one to come in, I wanted my old music folder 
to be more accessible. I would make it, it's done. Hear the noise, it means it's done. I could take this on a Mac and just go, you know what, let's put this here. There's my music. Now when I click on that, no matter what dialog box I open, that's where it is. My music will be accessible right there. You know what, I changed my mind. I want it down here. Oh, as easy as that as a Mac. You know what, I want to put it down here. Oh, I love that. Oh, you know what, I don't want it there anymore. So I'm going to delete it. I can't delete it. Can I delete it? I can't delete it. Open, close, and for remove from sidebar. Right click it. That's what you can do. It's not quite that easy. So you can move things around your system folder, utilities. This is real nice about operating systems. This is, in fact, uh, at the time of this, OS 10.6.8. Uh, so it's not Lion. It is not the newest version, but it's uh, will get you uh, get your music on uh, in iTunes and on your phone. So it looks as though uh, we've got them all in here. So let's go back to our phone and music and look for Red Rider. Uh, M-N-O-P-Q uh, Red Rider. It's already checked. It normally wouldn't be checked, but because the system already had it loaded, it's checked. So I want I want that to be on my phone. I hit check. Uh, so make sure it's checked. I have the Ramones, I have propeller heads. So this I want checked in. This I don't. Yes, I want my Roberta Flack in there. Richie Sambora I can do without right now. Rod Stewart, Santana. 7 Ray 3 Shinedown, yeah. I'm eclectic, but that's uh, that's how it goes, man. I don't judge you. Don't judge me, all right? So this is what I want on my phone. It's not on my phone yet. This is just telling it the next time I sync, it will be on my phone. So if I hit the sync button, I go up here, starting iPhone sync. Syncing iPhone. It's going to do this. It's going to sync all your contacts. It's going to sync everything you've got, uh, including this particular song or this particular group of songs and then uh, when it's done syncing uh, you will be done you will have your music on your phone and that will be awesome so uh, good luck with that okay let's prove it let's see what's going on here go to iTunes or I'm sorry iPhone or iPod whatever that is that icon you just saw there that thing here that says iPod yeah okay that one go to albums Let's see if it's there. It was Red Rider. Let's go. Red Ario Speedwagon. Oh, and look, I don't see it. It's not there. Hmm. Oh, look, it says albums. The name of the album was Don't Fight It. So let's try D's. Just not panic. Let's hold it together. There we go. Don't Fight It. Don't Fight It is all in here now, all the way to the end. There it is. There you go. That's the proof that it does work. Bye.